Right, so this video is all about surface books and when they have problems, how do you get lost on them? This problem in particular is the surface book three. And look, it's met an unfortunate accident. Yeah, it got dropped, the screen got smashed um, and bent out of shape. So it's never going to be of any use for another screen to sit in it. But the housing also got broken. Um, and there's a big chunk missing as well. Uh, great battery in there, but the case is gone. So this is just a, something that we can use for spares now in the future. And these don't come across. You don't pick up Surface Book 3s that are broken like this that often because it's still quite a new laptop. And we'll have to wait for the warranties to finish before these start appearing as scraps. So purpose of this video, this is a Surface Book 2 outer casing with a Surface Book 3 motherboard in it. And it was interesting, should we say, to fix it because the same, sorry, Surface Book 2, Surface Book 2, Surface Book 2, Surface Book 2, actually Surface Book 3, Surface Book 2, Surface Book 3, 2, sorry, Surface Book 2, Surface Book 2, so it's the existing battery that was in this shell, Surface Book 3, because that's new, that's, that's a piece of metal that attaches the heat sink which sticks out a bit now and makes contact with the body. I'm assuming that's some new heat dissipation techniques that they're using. Surface Book 2 ejector mechanisms, both the same ones that were in this case. I did think you had to swap one, but apparently not. So, on the face of this, they're not a Surface Book 2. Well, 3, sorry, this is the original one that came with the board as well as these. So these are all the original parts that came across with the board. The only reason that I said Surface Book 2 for that was when I pop this one off, this housing, it smashed. So, thankfully, that one came with this outer housing. Um, it's 366 cycles on this battery. I felt like crying, but if it works, I can swap the battery at a later stage. Um, but most importantly, it does work. And I should say, if it works, if these batteries, um, if the battery behaves and it's not too painful, then I won't swap it for until... Uh, it needs to be done. The batteries, the batteries, I'll tell you what, I'm struggling today a little bit. Trying to do these videos with a hangover. That thing that's sticking out there is a magnet. There's one there, and there's one there, which has probably jumped out and it's sat somewhere else. Where have you moved to? No, it's still there. If you're looking for the silver bit there, the magnet's there, that silver bit there is held in by that creamy white, sort of gunky looking stuff. That's some hardened enamel-like type glue that went over the battery to hold it firmly in place. And you have to heat it up and take it out with a knife. And let's push that back in again. This one cracked when I swapped it out, but what I had to do was cut the cut away. And so what that what that battery's doing is this what this magnet is doing here. It's just it's attracted to this piece of metal, so it needs to keep coming to play. That's damn it, stop touching, stop connecting to it. That's why it needs to be glued in, so I'll get that glued in. Um, but I don't feel like it made any sense for what I'm trying to say, so I'm going to say this again. The, the Surface Book 3 magnets that I'm showing you here have to be swapped out from the Surface Book 2 shell. Um, so you have to take out the magnets from the Surface Book 2 and pop these ones in. Don't know if they just flip polarity or something weird with the way they're lined up, but when you physically tried to push the two together, the magnets repelled each other. So I don't know if it's a simple act of switching them or flipping them over would have just done the job just as well, but I just swapped the whole battery, the whole magnets, because it was easier for me to do that. Um, so once they're glued in, everything will work fine. And just to show you that this is um, a surface block too, case you should be able to see 1832 there and there's little small numbers there let's see if it'll let me zoom in on that 1832 uh, and 1900 is a surface so i can show you what a surface book one looks like surface book three one looks like that's bit smaller but different model number there you see the 1900 
just there. So that's the old one. That's the new, oh, that's the new broken one. This is the old repurposed Surface Book 2 case with the Surface Book 3 motherboard in. So let's go and get a keyboard and show you that the keyboard attaches. And now, with that magnet being a bit noisy, noisy, I might just slide it across. Just bear with me a second. No. One keyboard. Just to show you, it's a Surface Book 3 keyboard. I'm kicking myself because I wish I would have tested the Surface Book 2 keyboard and the magnets were repelling each other because that might have been an easy win as well. Um, especially if the keyboard is broken. So, apologies, I can't show you if that would work or not. If that's a 1900. 1.9, the key thing there for you to see. Definitely a Surface Book 3 keyboard. No witchcraft trickery or anything like that. Pop it in. I should have shown you and it wouldn't go in, but mind you. I always just absolutely love that metal, but it's gone in, it's connected. Uh, I've just got it put because there's no screen. The trusty. Surface dock. Don't know if I turn this on or if I powered it off. It's a power lock on again. While we're doing that, I just show you the eject motion does work. Quite hard to do holding the phone as well, so there you go, ejected, no problem at all. Pop it back in again. It'll be a little while for that screen to show back up again. Ooh, power saving. Come on. So yeah, back the only part that I had to swap on the surface book two outer case was magnet here and magnet there and metal piece here which to be honest I could have probably not done that come on why am I not seeing you right and that's just logging on now it's just I'm not doing any camera trickery or anything if I wish I could do camera tricks but yeah I'm not so this PC properties surface right just don't want to say surface book three but if you know your surfaces, you'll know that that's a surface 16 gig. Um, let's see if I've got the surface up on here. I do. Surface Book 3. Oh, come on, I've got to do Surface Book 3. But absolutely in a Surface Book 2 outer, outer casing. Um, all that's left for me to do is pop this bad boy antenna back on again. Um, maybe tidy it up. Put some of the screws that's missed uh, that I didn't put back in because I was just testing it and yeah, put a screen on it and I've got myself a Surface Book 3 that works again and it's actually usable so yeah if you do find yourself in a situation where your Surface Book 3 outer housing is cracked broken damaged and you can't find spares look up a Surface Book 2 spare pop out the back pop out I'm gonna keep I'm gonna kick myself today out the metal magnets that sit in there and in there swap them into your surface book two case into there and there glue them in but they're only they would have been glued in but i'm still testing and i'm recording as i'm going along but if you do that it will work they'll connect together fine i'm fairly certain i've had to do nothing else i'm just scratching my brain trying to think did i have to do anything else I don't think so. So but if you do have any questions, give me a shout. Um, I'm happy to respond to anything you put in there. Um, before I do close this down there, just as a matter of warning, I've had these surface, oh, hello, there's me. I've had these, um, these books for a while now, because of the first surface book and then the second and the third. And the one thing that I get in that makes me feel like crying is when the clip there is broken, there and there. Um, where are they? I better do that. Those things there, they're the volume ones. The power one's hidden away, but it's there. 
And when you push your board in or take your board out of one of these cases, make sure you push this thing up and it clears this button because this button has a black little thing on top of it. And that black little thing, as you can see there, Technology sucks sometimes, it really does. That little black thing there is the button. And that goes down and it turns it on or off or turns the volume up or down. This is a manual piece of, what you could really call it, uh, a manual button that is connected to the housing. And when you push this, the button engages. So if you break that flimsy bit of plastic by pushing this down too hard, or trying to push the motherboard in too hard and you're hitting an obstacle and you don't know what it is, the chances are these things will fly off and you're gonna to have to get down to trying to fix this. Uh, it is doable, but very difficult, um, but doable definitely. Uh, I've probably lost hours trying to fix a couple of these over the years for the sake of five minutes just be careful with that that's probably the only real gotcha everything else is pretty straightforward all right I'm going to stop this recording because I'm just wobbling on now if you if you have this issue and, it, and it, this video helps you let me know or if you can think of something that I forgot to do feel free to also comment as well thank you for watching